we're going to graph a function that is a piecewise function so these can be tricky at first to figure out what's going on but what's happening is that when x is less than 0 we're going to graph this line 2 fifths x minus 2 but when x is greater than or equal to 0 we're going to graph the line negative x plus 1 so you can kind of think of it like we need two tables of values we need one for our first function which we're going to plug in things that are less than zero like negative numbers but go ahead and plug in zero because we're gonna get right up close to zero we're just not gonna at, at zero we're gonna put an open circle because it's not equal to there and then our other function our second one we're gonna make a different table of values and we're going to start at 0 and it'll get a filled in circle because it is equal at 0 and then we'll go up from there because the second function is all of the values for x that are greater than 0. So since this is a fraction 2 fifths some of this is going to be unpleasant and actually um, let's just take this number out and let's pick negative 5 so that we don't have all of these as fractions right. 2 fifths times negative 5, the 5's would cancel out and give us negative 2 minus 2, which is negative 4. These are both going to be fractions. And then 0, would when we plug it in, this cancels. 0 minus 2 will give us negative 2. So at negative 5, our function is at negative 4. And at 0, we're at negative 2. And remember I said that's going to be an open circle here. And so our line is going to go through that dot and then keep going to the left because it's all of the values that are, are less than 0 for x. Wow, that just got worse. All right, and then you would draw in the same color, but I just want to make sure you can see the difference between the two graphs we're graphing. If I plug in 0, I get 1. If I plug in 1, that's negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. If I plug in 2, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. And so 0, comma 1 is my first point, and that's going to be a filled in circle because we are equal to 0 for the second function. And then it's going to go to 1, 0, 2, negative 1, and so on. And then that graph, it starts at 0, 1, and then it continues going down. And it'll keep going on forever to the down and to the right. So see, we've got two different lines, and we could have graphed these pretty easily without having to make a table of values using slope intercept form but just make sure you understand that we're only graphing the left side of our first equation and the right side on our second equation and that's why this is a piecewise function because we're taking pieces of two different functions to make one function